Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we're gonna have a look at what could be the best DEX decentralized exchange on Cardano. For me, it's really important that we have transparency uh, and understand the tech before making any investments in this space. And it's even more important when it comes to decentralized exchanges in my humble opinion. Um, you know, we hear those horror stories of rug pulls. We hear the horror stories of liquidity being drained and people losing lots of money. We hear the horror stories around um, impermanent loss when yield farming and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, for me, it's a breath of fresh air to see a deck and be very um, transparent about the code and, and the tech that they're sort of, um, you know, implemented on the Cardano ecosystem, how it's going to interoperate and all that sort of wonderful stuff. Um, and they also clear up some of the misconceptions about concurrency issues and all that sort of stuff that's been sort of, uh, you know, fud in the, the news from people who really don't understand what it is they're talking about. So, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, but yeah, do let me know in the comments below if you uh, know a more superior DEX than this one. Uh, and let me know the reasons why. Don't just don't just name the the project. Um, with all that said, uh, mash that like button, subscribe, tap that bell, select all the notifications so you never miss a video. Let's get down to the desktop. <clears throat> okay, so Maladex. So this is the the the, the decks that I'm going to be calling out. I think this is going to be a fantastic um, and superior um, project or decks compared to to many others in the space. Uh, I do like Sunday Swap and Ergo decks. Uh, everybody that watches the channel will be aware of that. But this is another one. Um, I think they need to improve their marketing. But ultimately, I think this is a, a solid project. Great tech, great team. And, um, you know, for, for me, you just have to, to have a look at the roadmap, right, uh, to get sort of a good idea of how detailed it is, right? So you've got quite a lot of things. You've got all the ticks here of things that they've done. Um, you know, 2021 Q3, uh, 2021 Q4, uh, Q1 of 2022, and, and so on, right? It goes right through to 2023, and it will be continued, right? Um, now, when you compare this, um, you know, this is this is a, a project that is going to be claiming to, to be more superior that I, I'm calling out to, to be just that. When you compare it to another one that's also calling out that it's a more superior um, DEX, there's three phases and they all end in uh, 2021, uh, sorry, 2022 Q1. Now, for me, this just looks poor um, in the respect that, you know, is that as far as they're looking ahead? Um, you know, we haven't got any code. There's, there's very limited transparency. Uh, and at the moment, I'm going to put the gauntlet down and say, um, you know, ADAX, you've got to start proving that you've got anything that's sort of sat behind the, the claims that you're making. Um, for me, this is a far superior uh, roadmap, at least, um, and I expect the tech to, to also be um, far superior than, say, ADAX, for example, right? But, you know, the gauntlet's down, they can prove me wrong. Um, right, let's move on. So there's this article, right? So this is this is interesting. Um, Maladex solves concurrency scales beyond memory limits and design uh, the best possible Cardano DEX. So that's quite a bold statement. And uh, it's going to be interesting to, to see whether um, that they sort of succeed with this, right? So Maladex order matching machine achieves the maximum concurrency as defined by Amer Ad Admiral's law and introduce uh, introduces a scaling mechanism beyond 16 kb transactions and 65 kb block size limits maladex uh, achieves it at the same time by introducing a uh, revolutionary uh, concept of programmable swaps increasing capacity uh, efficiency removing impermanent loss and providing a mechanism for decentralization of dex ordering routing so really interesting um, there's a bit of an in introduction here and um, you know they talk through um, some of the the cardano scripts and all of this stuff um, the scaling uh, solutions uh, proposed by other dexes uh, so you know ergo dex um, min swap and meld for example um, so yeah it's interesting they sort of get into to all of these 
right? Uh, why we never thought concurrency was an issue and they sort of talk through the reasons why that is not an issue and they back it up with GitHub and, and all this sort of stuff here. Programmable swaps and they sort of dig into to all of this stuff, um, which I think is you know, really interesting. I'm not going to read through all, all of this, this stuff here, right? Uh, programmable swaps and mal. Um, okay, so this bit's the, the bit that I want to sort of talk through. Maladex concurrency solution. So they're actually talking through what it is they're going to do. So Maladex uh, programmable swap protocol is comprised of two parts. The commitment phase, uh, send commitment onto the blockchain to perform a certain action. Uh, each commitment can be cancelled by sending a cancel order as another programmable swap. Each uh, commitment is an NFT and can be uh, processed in parallel using the minting process or, or policy. Uh, the execution phase, all commitments are executed each block against each other resulting in trades happening uh, due to high fragmentation and optimized routing transactions take much less memory and can be uh, efficiently managed and they sort of break it down in in um, like a, a diagram for you here again I'm going to drop this into the um, description of the video uh, I do think it's really really interesting and you know people should really sort of take a, a look at this in um, lots of detail they also talk through um, about their pro uh, programmable uh, swaps and how they're stored. The execution phase, they break that down into far more detail. Um, frontiers, like the list goes on and on. The off-chain versus on-chain. Um, you know, this is what I like to see, right? And this is when, when Nick and myself are talking about, you know, doing research on projects, this is the sort of level of detail that you, you want to be going into, right? Do we need an account-based model for DEX? They really do go the extra mile to, to lay this all out for you, right? Uh, you know, the, the, a, a layer uh, to scale all D apps. Uh, why the mod uh, our model is the best uh, achievable. So you know, so this is the bit that I really want to get into. So why is this model the best achievable? And uh, I completely agree with this. Um, so uh, the proposed uh, the proposed model achieves a maximum concurrency as defined by Admiral's Law. Uh, increase the transaction throughput beyond Cardano's limitations via the usage of Hydra's heads. Uh, provides built-in incentives for fair order execution. Allows for trustless expansion of order types beyond the current offering of exchanges both centralized and decentralized, both blockchain narrative and traditional finance, allows for distribution of routing component, which classically is centralized by uh, each exchange and community participation in exchange running, is free of impermanent loss and neutrally leads a high capacity efficiency. So that's really important. Uh, converges on the true market price, increasing the market efficiency and enabling uh, Mal Maladex uh, to be an oracle of true market price for Cardano native assets. So for, for me, this is tremendous. And I know that a lot of people, a, a lot of this stuff will just go right over your head. And I get that. But like for, for me, like you name another DEX that's going to be on Cardano that is telling you exactly what they're looking to do that is being transparent and honest about the tech that sat behind their protocol um, because I haven't seen anything like this apart from obviously you know what I've just detailed with you now and I, I, I love this sort of stuff it's the sort of stuff that you know puts puts it into perspective how um, advanced uh, a particular protocol can be compared to others um, I think this should be harbored by other protocols in the space to be as transparent so investors can make the you know the right um, investment decisions based on actually knowing what it is that they're investing in so um, do let me know in the comments below whether there is another DEX that you think is more superior than the one that I've just highlighted tell me why um, you know I will link the full article in the description of the video 
do give it a read. I think it'd be an eye opener. It will probably lead you to ask questions of other uh, Dex protocols that are going to be on Cardano. Um, you know, what are they doing? Maybe you can take some of the stuff from here. And if you're already invested in another Dex, maybe you can go into their Telegram group and you can ask them, you know, what are you doing with this? Is it similar to, to Maladex? How's it working? Um, and maybe you'll get some answers. Maybe you won't. And maybe that will tell you everything that you need to know. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, try not to come across too, too negative. I really like this, uh, this Dex, um, but it does highlight where a lot of others are going wrong in the space. Um, with that said, tell me if you, you agree or disagree with me. Um, don't forget, mash that like button, subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications so you never miss a thing, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.